diseases of cassava or tapioca so now we'll see the list of important diseases in uh, cassava and tapioca so my name is janet shankar reddy and i am doing phd plant pathology in anavala university so these are all the list of important diseases so brown leaf spot which is caused by sarcospora henningsi and uh, mosaic which is caused by indian cassava mosaic virus now we'll see in detail about the first one is the brown leaf spot which is caused by sarcospora henningsi and coming to the symptoms so symptoms can be observed on the both surfaces upper surface as well as the lower surface both are spots so on the upper surface if you see in the upper surface if you see dark color border along with the brown spots so brown spots along with a dark color border can be seen if you see on the lower surface of the leaves gray center or gray margins along with i mean uh, leaf spots with gray centers or gray margins can be seen what what we can see in upper surface a dark border a like brown spots with a dark border on the lower surface the same dark i mean brown spots with a gray center can be clearly observed and later stages what will happen the infected plants are slowly starts to turn into yellow in color and later stages they will dry up so coming to the management aspects spraying of mancozy at the rate of 0.2 percent or spraying of carbenazine at the rate of 0.1 percent can help to manage this disease so coming to the next one mosaic which is caused by indian cassava mosaic virus so on the right side if you see the symptoms so mosaic we know very well that mosaic uh, mainly due to yellowing uh, i mean uh, mosaic uh, mosaic mainly considered to alternate uh, green and yellow patches i mean alternate green and yellowing of uh, leaves so if you see leaf size and uh, uh, can be reduced and hampering of size and as well as uh, misham but uh, twisting of leaves like a pluckering of leaves like you know uh, if you see it's a psoriasis leaf psoriasis something like that so fluckering of leaves can be seen and uh, stunting of leaf plants also can be observed so if you see this uh, tuber i mean if you see the tuber inside the soil we can if we split open uh, uh we can clearly see that the yield reduction as well as uh, uh, mis, uh, i mean uh, uh, discolorations so this disease is mainly uh, spread by uh, insect that is a white fly bemisia tabaci so this is uh, bemisia tabaci so the virus is mainly transmitted primarily by uh, uh, plant sets that is a planting materials and the second spread is mainly due to insect vector that is a bemisia tabaci white fly so coming to the management aspects uh, selection of assets from healthy areas or healthy uh, plant sets can be selected and uh, a rowing of infected plants at earlier stages and if you want to control the uh, you know insect you better to go with the spraying of neem oil 3% or methyl dimeter at the rate of 2 ml per liter of water can be uh, recommended and also removal of weeds in nearby areas and spraying of systemic insecticide like uh, uh, dimethyl 1 ml per liter of water can control the disease and there are some resistant varieties which are developed by ctcrri that is uh, tp5 co tp5 and uh, uh, sri padma uh, sri padmanabha suited for uh, tamil nadu and kerala areas these are all the resistant varieties so coming to the areas are that we can expect a causal organisms rather than that i don't i don't think there is nothing uh, much to look into it